Did you know that the simple yet powerful Venn diagram was invented by one man? A man whose work has made it easier for us to visualize relationships and sets. Meet John Venn, the mathematician who made logic and set theory more accessible. John Venn was born on August 4, 1834, in Yorkshire, England. He grew up in a religious family, with his father being a prominent evangelical Christian. In 1853, Venn attended Highgate School in London, and later went to Gonville and Caius College, Cambridge, where he studied mathematics. He graduated as sixth wrangler in 1857, but initially turned away from mathematics, focusing on a career in the clergy. Venn was ordained as an Anglican priest in 1859, but returned to Cambridge in 1862 to lecture in moral science. It was here that he reacquainted himself with mathematics and logic, leading to his groundbreaking work. In 1880, John Venn introduced Venn diagrams in his book, Symbolic Logic. These diagrams use overlapping circles to show the relationships between different sets, making them an essential tool in logic, set theory, probability, statistics, and computer science. Venn's earlier work, The Logic of Chance, published in 1866, argued for the frequency theory of probability. He believed that probability should be determined by how often something is forecasted to occur, rather than relying on educated assumptions. In 1883, Venn resigned from the clergy, believing Anglicanism was incompatible with his philosophical beliefs. He continued to teach and was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society in 1883. In 1903, he became the president of Gonville and Caius College, a position he held until his death. Beyond mathematics, Venn was an active member of civic society and supported causes like women's suffrage. He also had a passion for gardening, often winning local competitions. John Venn passed away on April 4, 1923, but his legacy lives on. He is commemorated by memorials such as a stained glass window at Gonville and Caius College, a decorated bridge in Hull, and even a Google Doodle on his 180th birthday. Thank you for watching. See you next time on Mathematic, where we uncover more fascinating stories from the world of mathematics.